In the vast world of design, not everyone can be the next Leonardo da Vinci. Indeed, some designs can leave you wondering who on earth approved them, with odd-looking prototypes and out-of-touch concepts leading some projects to an early grade. With that, let's take a look at some of the ugliest design mistakes ever made. <laughs> Multipla Mistakes when car manufacturer Fiat first unveiled the Multipla in 1999, the odd shape of the model received a lot of attention, but not for the right reasons. The Multipla's uh, innovative design made it smooth to drive and allowed six people to fit inside, but while some loved it, others laughed at it. Jeremy Clarkson, the once grandmaster of Top Gear, summed up the design pretty astutely that, for all its cleverness, the Multipla really was ugly. And in 2014, readers of the website carthrottle.com voted it the ugliest car ever made. The controversial design ultimately costed sales, selling under 50,000 units a year in Europe, while competitor models like the Vauxhall Zafira sold almost four times that amount. What an ugly fiasco. Skyscraper Slip Up Sticking out of the London skyline like a sore bulging thumb, this skyscraper is known as the walkie-talkie. The bloated 37-story structure earned Great Britain's Carbuncle Cup Award in 2015 for worst building design, and not just because it looked like a melting stick of butter. This skyscraper's reflective properties directed sunlight onto the street below with such intensity that it melted parts of parked cars and seats of bicycles. Ugly, unignorable, and dangerous a trifecta of bad design. Wonky Copter The Boeing Vertol Model 235 was a helicopter design entered into the 1973 U.S. Advanced Attack Helicopter Competition. The unusually asymmetrical design included a setback fuselage on one half of the aircraft, positioning the gunner forward but offsetting the pilot. Unsurprisingly, the 235's design lost the competition, but only because it was found that the engine ran too hot while it was active. Somehow though, I don't think that's the only reason this machine didn't win any prizes. Uniform Faults in 2014, the Colombian women's cycling team debuted their new cycling uniforms and quickly became a viral internet topic. The new design had a flesh-colored panel stretching from their stomachs to their thighs, making their bottom halves look decidedly bare. While the cycling union deemed the design as unacceptable by any standard of decency, team member Angie Rojas stepped forward in its defense. Rojas claimed she'd helped design it and as a woman, was proud to wear it. As a result, the team kept the design for the rest of the year. In fashion, I believe this is what they call a statement piece. Houston, we have a problem. Although NASA has been responsible for some incredible flight designs over the years, it also produced this oddly shaped aircraft back in 2001. Known as the Helios prototype, this remotely driven wing with a 247 foot span once set a solar powered altitude record of 50,500 feet. But its achievements couldn't change the fact it looked like a strip of pavement with propellers stuck into it. And it had some structural issues too. In 2003, it crashed into the Pacific Ocean after turbulence proved too much to handle, forcing it out of shape and out of control. Even though they named it Helios after the Greek god of the sun, it ended up more like Icarus, crashing into the sea. Macintosh Misstep The Apple Macintosh TV from 1993 looks like it had more in common with a cinder block than its swanky computer successors. This block bit of tech was Apple's first attempt at creating a computer with integrated TV capabilities. At the time of release, the final cost of this absolute unit was a staggering $2,099. That's over $3,700 today, adjusted for inflation. Apple ended up making just 10,000 units before canceling the poorly selling product four months after release. It seemed that if the ugly design wasn't enough to turn buyers away, the price definitely was. Macintosh? More like Mac and Trash. Bentley's Ego. In 2008, lifestyle brand Ego partnered with car manufacturers Bentley Motors to produce one of the world's most expensive laptops. To justify the $20,000 price tag, they built the laptop into a hand-stitched leather case with frames made from white gold. And while that $20,000 bought you a kind of fancy, kind of garish looking exterior, the laptop's internal specs were simply a ripoff. 
It had just two gigabytes of RAM, a 12 inch screen, and a 160 gigabyte hard drive. It ended up being suitably labeled as an overpriced paperweight, and an ugly one at that. Library Liability the National Library of Kosovo was designed with hopes to represent a blend of classical Byzantine and Islamic styles. But sadly, after architect Andrija Mutinakovic's vision was delivered in 1986, it ended up looking more like a prison than a place of learning. By combining a series of design elements that should work on their own, like white domes and intricate steelwork, a car crash of concepts emerged. Widely regarded as one of the ugliest buildings in the world, it's reported that on the library's opening day, onlookers thought the net-like metalwork was scaffolding. When the final piece looks like it's still under construction, it's probably time to rethink your design. Motorbike Mistakes Usually, motorbikes are designed to look cool, unless they're the Yohammer J1. Putting function before form, this electric bike was the first of its kind to reach a 124 mile range at the sacrifice of looking like a total eyesore. Its massively protruding wing mirrors have been compared online, frankly quite accurately, to the eye stalks of snails or slugs. Plus, that huge body contributing to the bike's 350 pound weight also makes it really slow. At least that gives people plenty of time to stare at it as it trundles by. All it needs now is a trail of slime left in its wake. Eerie AI Sophia the Robot, designed by Hanson Robotics, is an advanced human-like robot AI with an unfortunate face. Even though her processing power is made up of cutting-edge technology, her designer's attempts to make her express emotions have ended up pushing her into the uncanny valley effect. This phenomenon is where vaguely humanoid creations become creepier the more lifelike they look, below a certain level. And being honest, it seems like Sophia might have fallen off the uncanny cliff. The Elephant is the Room In 2018, the Architectural Digest named the Elephant Building of Bangkok, Thailand one of the ugliest in the world. And it's pretty hard to disagree. While elephants play a huge part of Thai culture and symbolism, this 335-foot homage just looks a little too minimalist. It's almost like it's been made out of Lego. Built in 1997, it was criticized for not pushing the boundaries of Thai architecture, which are comparatively incredible. They say elephants never forget, but I think they'd prefer to forget about this. World's Worst Website This website might just be the king of all terrible online designs. Lingscars.com is a rental car business based in the UK owned by the unconventional Ling Valentine. Unlike most modern website designs, this homepage is a total barrage of color and information. Web agencies worldwide have called it ugly, not user-friendly, and straight up terrible, which probably explains why this headache-inducing style hasn't been adopted by other larger rental companies. Anyone else feel a migraine coming on? Mercedes Misjudgment in 2018, Mercedes unveiled its Urbanetic Electric Concept Car Series with self-driving capabilities, only for it to be slammed by critics for its bizarre appearance. The modular design means that the body could be swapped out depending on the vehicle's purpose. While it's an innovative idea, switching from a car that looks like an angry bike helmet to a van that looks like a toaster isn't helping the project's chances. For now, the Urbanetic's staying in the concept-only pile. Maddening Mega Yacht if you suffer from the fear of closely packed holes known as trypophobia, I suggest you look away now. This is the Voronoi, a conceptual mega yacht with a strange and slightly nightmare-inducing pattern covering its hull. Designed in 2011, the yacht's honeycomb lattice encapsulates the entirety of the upper decks. It consists of a series of geometric shapes calculated using a principle developed by mathematician Gregory Voronoi the ship's namesake, to create strong, robust structures by removing unnecessary solid space. Despite all the luxuries the ship includes, like hot tubs and golfing spots, one look at the outside is enough to make you seasick. The Alien School Bus While most stealth aircrafts are designed to avoid detection, one designed from the early 80s apparently missed the memo. This is the experimental Northrop Tacit Blue. Even though it housed some of the most incredible stealth tech of its time, its standout shape landed it with nicknames like The Whale and Alien School Bus. Air Force test pilots gave it an even less flattering nickname, Hum, which stood for Highly Unstable Mother 
as its unaerodynamic design racked up countless crashes and simulator tests. With that in mind, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why production of this flattened out aircraft was stopped in 1985. Lego Letdown Lego figures are some of the most recognizable toys from around the world but they didn't start out as the slick little plastic models that you know and love. When they were first developed back in the mid-1970s, they looked like lumpy blocks of sentient cheese. Without their iconic little facial features or, you know, arms, I just don't trust them. Fortunately, Lego also realized how disturbing these cubic cretins were and developed them into the final, friendlier minifigures released in 1978. Although I don't know what hurts worse, standing on a Lego or looking at their prototypes. Scary Sonic In April 2019, the world got a glimpse of the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog film from Paramount Pictures based on the beloved video game series. However, the designers had transformed the cartoon character into an unrecognizably alien creature that looked like it was half Jurgen Klopp, half Hedgehog. I mean, with distressingly humanoid teeth like that, how was the design ever considered family friendly? It was a world apart from the giant eyed, big red booted creature the fans knew and loved, and they weren't afraid to let Paramount know about it. Within two days of the trailer's release, it racked up hundreds of thousands of YouTube dislikes while Twitter exploded with criticism for Sonic's deviant design. The backlash was so strong that just one month later, director Jeff Fowler vowed to change Sonic's design before the film was released. And by November 2019, the super fast makeover was complete. Designers adjusted his features to look less like an anthropomorphic nightmare and more like a furry version of the cartoon that audiences recognized. Now that's what you call a fast fix. Bridge Badness You can 3D print just about anything these days, but just because you can doesn't always mean you should. As proven by what is fair to call the world's ugliest 3D printed creation. Back in 2016, this pedestrian footbridge installed in Castilla-La Mancha Park, Spain was the first of its kind to be 3D printed. And can't you just tell? Made from micro-reinforced cement and built around a computational design, it was meant to be a marvel of modern technology. But the reality was just hideous. The bizarrely inconsistent sizes and shapes of the support beams make it look eternally sticky, almost like Spider-Man decided to lend a hand during construction. Looks like this really was a bridge too far. Pucker Cup some people really love their morning coffee, but designer Jang Woo Sok took his feelings way too far when he created these coffee lid monstrosities. Called Take Kiss Out, these takeaway coffee lids have a perfectly formed set of human lips molded into the top, so it feels like you're getting a warm caffeinated kiss with every sip. Swapping fluids never looked so creepy. Fortunately, the deviant design never took off and the Instagram profile associated with Take Kiss Out has gone quiet. I guess that means their lips are sealed. Maddening Mouse At first glance, this chaotic collection of rhinestones may look like a teeny tiny disco ball but it's actually a computer mouse. Designed back in 2007 by Japan's Solid Alliance, the Choiko Wadeko mouse hit the market to the utter disdain of its critics and customers. While its name roughly translates to a little bit cute, no one saw anything cute about it. The garishness of the design made it an eyesore, and the strange shape encrusted with rough diamantes meant it was painful to use. It was a failure on all fronts, including the cost, as this fistful of tech fragments and fake jewels would have set you back around 131 bucks at the time. If that's the price of being cute, I think I'll stay ugly. Ruined Romance A two-person bath sounds romantic in theory, but there's never enough space and someone always ends up complaining about the temperature of the water. While the easy solution would be to share a shower instead, German company Troutvine came up with this insidious looking solution. It's called the Yin Yang Couple Bathtub. And while its shape and color may remind you of those pods from the Matrix, it gets even more surreal. 
Each person on either side can control their own temperature, water level, and mood lighting, and all while you maintain strangely intense levels of eye contact. It turns out romance isn't dead. It's just turned into a strangely wet staring contest. Hideous Helmets while most bike helmets simply protect your noggin, the ones designed by Joe John Mulor in 2015 were made to look like your noggin as well. The Dubai-based creator achieved this hyper-realistic and hyper-unsettling design by using photographs of shaved heads to create a 3D appearance. So by using three different images of shaven heads, these four borderline body horror models were born. Their fleshy motifs would certainly earn a few double takes on the road. But with no movement from Malur since 2015, these concept designs are unlikely to ever be brought to life. So bad news for all the bikers hoping to turn heads, but good news for all the other road users. Gross Glasses Minimalist eyewear was all the rage back in the 2000s, but company Pierce Glasses took the trend to a whole other level as you can clearly see. As painful as they look, the process for inserting these freaky frames was blessedly simple. All you needed to do was shove a magnetic barbell through the bridge of your nose, attach magnets to your chosen lenses, and voila, frameless eyewear. Thankfully, this was a trend that never took off, seeing how contact lenses already existed and were comparatively easier on the eyes. Freakish Face Slimmer Using this bizarre Japanese invention, you can literally kiss your sagging facial features goodbye. The face slimmer exercise mouthpiece is a silicone mold of a preposterous pair of lips that has an insert that fits in between your own lips and teeth. Once it's in place and you've lost all ability to enunciate any of your words, You're kidding me. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta look at that. You flap your gums for three minutes to tighten those mug muscles. While it's not exactly clear whether or not it really works, it looks incredibly painful and embarrassing to use. Kind of like a blow-up doll having an aneurysm. I know they say that beauty is pain, but does it have to look so ridiculous as well? Farcical Falcon Even though this rather ugly aircraft looks like a dog that just ate a bee, its giant clown nose isn't a mistake. This is a Boeing 707 fitted with an ELM-2075 radar system, also known as the Falcon. It was used for surveillance and intelligence gathering back in the 90s with the bulge of its nose cone concealing a phased array radar antenna, which looks something like this. You may be wondering, why did they choose to stick it on the front of the plane? Well, as you can see, there are also panels of these arrays on either side of the fuselage as well as under the tail, giving the radar system a full 360 degree view. But as functional as it may be, this pimped out plane looks like it received several bumps when it fell out of the ugly tree. The Franken Plane Despite looking like it's about to burst, the Aerospace Line Super Guppy is one pretty incredible plane. Opening from the front, it can carry a payload 25 feet high, 25 feet wide, and 111 feet long, making it a kind of flying warehouse. Back in 1962, air traffic controllers were so doubtful an earlier variant would get off the ground for its first flight that they had emergency services on high alert. Luckily though, it took off just fine, unrestricted by its plus size figure. However, only five of these monsters were ever built, meaning replacement parts have to be salvaged off of other large aircrafts. Because of this unforeseen problem, upgrading them over the years has given them the nickname of Frankenplanes, making them the real monsters of the sky. Double Design Trouble in 2006, the Soul Invention Fair brought this hilarious attempt to reinvent the cell phone to the forefront of ugly designs. This is a dual LCD screen phone, which was originally created to help enhance internet browsing experiences back before the likes of the iPhone existed. While the design itself was moving in the right direction of giving users a bigger screen, the gaudy and inconvenient looking prototype, unsurprisingly, never made it to market. Super Creepy Sculpture Many designs can be unintentionally ugly, but it's hard to see how this super creepy sculpture ever got commissioned. New Zealand artist Ronnie Van Hout designed the sculpture called Quasi by scanning his hand and face and fashioning them together out of steel, polystyrene, and resin. The 16-foot sculpture was placed on top of New Zealand's Wellington City Gallery in 2019 like an ugly alien overlord, 
and members of the public weren't exactly pleased. With descriptions ranging from kinda creepy to a nightmarish fever dream, this piece gives new meaning to the term facepalm. Tangerine Terror This little car may have been called the Bond Bug, but it wasn't anything to do with 007. In fact, it wasn't even a full-blown car. Built in 1970, this three-wheeled shark fin-shaped buggy could be driven with a motorbike license and was mostly only available in bright orange. Even though its designer, Tom Karen, intended it to be a fun car, it had an understandably short-lived production run from 1970 to 1974. Of all the weird things to come out of the 70s, I'd put this up there with flares. The Flying Pancake during World War II, a bizarre experiment attempting to achieve near vertical liftoff ended in the hilarious design of the Voigt V-173, also known as the Flying Pancake. The tilted position of the aircraft's disc-shaped body accommodated the gigantic 16 and a half foot diameter propellers, meaning it could take off almost vertically on a short runway. Despite impressing the Navy, the program was canceled in 1947 following further development of the jet engine. As you might expect, the Flying Pancake was much slower than a jet and much less intimidating, unless the enemy was afraid of breakfast. Which of these design mistakes did you think was the ugliest? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.